So somebody recently asked me about a couple of songs uh, that are on our new album, a couple of videos that we've recently put out uh, for those songs and um, kind of what's going on with the beats there. And I hadn't really thought about it. Those are two feels that I've kind of had under my fingers for a long time and that I just kind of go to when I feel like it. Um, but I thought I'd give you kind of a quick primer for what's going on under the hood there. Um, so the two songs are um, Dance With Me Anyway and Mad About You. So Dance With Me Anyway has you know two main parts you need to know, which are the, the verse and the chorus. So the verse is kind of a samba-inspired kind of march feel where you know the bass, uh, bass drum and hi-hat are just going don't, da don't, da don't, da don't, da don't, da don't. And then with the snare, when the snare is off, I'm just kind of rolling, having steady 16ths where I'm popping out accents and doing some buzz rolls and other kinds of accentuation and flow to kind of complement the, the rhythm of what else is happening in the ensemble and with the vocal. And then in the chorus, I go to kind of a Sango inspired kind of cowbell half beat um, that I like. And it's a particular pattern that I just, I came up with for a song called Cypher a long time ago and I practiced the heck out of it. And now I just can do it and do variations on it, but I'll try to slow it down, break it down and show you what's going on. And in particular, the trick that that I'd impart to you is I'm making my right hand go dun -dun, dun -dun, back and forth between the uh, cowbell and the snare to kind of keep the, the motor going. And Mad About You, it's really no longer a, like a strict beat, but it's more like an idea of feel again, where it's okay, my cross stick is down and my right hand is just kind of like really play a bunch of choked figures against the kind of against the the edge of the snare head. So I'm going to do buzzes, tight buzzes near the uh, near the rim. I'm going to do rim shots. I'm going to do clicks uh, and just sort of fill in this gap. Just anything that comes to mind, keeping that flow kind of going and then dropping in little bombs uh, kind of uh, in a reggae style where I'm going to avoid one, but kind of drop in bombs near three or and of two wherever I feel like it, and then kind of moving on the toms for some spice. So let me kind of show you what I'm doing. I'm the worst at trying to like really break it down, but a little bit of a peek behind the curtain, a little peek under the hood, and maybe give you a little inspiration for something that you can do for yourself. All right, let's check them out. <laughs> Okay, so the Mad About You beat is mainly you've got this cross stick and you're holding your hand down and then you're doing with your right hand a bunch of sort of calypso-y kind of buzz rolls and rim shots to fill in the gaps and then throwing in a bomb on three and maybe moving to the toms um, just for spice there. So slowly it's kind of like this idea. quicker it's like this
the dance with me anyway beat is two parts the verse is like this little sort of samba march just on the snare with the snares off so you're going boom ba boom ba boom ba boom <laughs> chorus is a sort of interesting one so it's this little back and forth right hand sort of drives it going back and forth between the cowbell and the snares going like So there you go. That's uh, hopefully that was a reasonably good demonstration of kind of the the thinking and the kernel behind those two different or those three different patterns. And hopefully also you can get a, a little bit of a glimpse into how I would approach a pattern like that. Not that I'm the most amazing drummer or anything, but that you know my philosophy musically is always about sort of exploration and variation. So. Um, when I'm live, I'm not playing exactly or disappointed if I don't land this, you know, this little piece of the pattern. It's more about there's this feel that comes out of orbiting that kernel and varying it and kind of going with the flow and changing it up from measure to measure, uh, changing it up, you know, in response to what's going on around me. So I'd encourage you to, you know, find your own patterns like this and, uh, and to play around with how to vary them on the fly and kind of what makes them them to you. Um, anyway, also, I'm just not that accurate. So yeah, I think we've all discovered that in this, this, this video here. All right. Thanks for sticking around to the end and uh, see you all later.